right, so this video is going to be talking about the Ray. So I'm going to be showing you some gameplay, and then at the end, I will have the build. So let's hop to it. So the Ray is the only tank in the game so far that has a pretty much a charge up ability, as its whole theme is literally, you know, like a Ray gun. So pretty much you have three levels. You have the low, normal, and overcharge mode. Low does the lowest amount of damage. Normal does the normal. And overcharge does the most damage, of course. Now, the thing about the overcharge mode is the issue is when you're in the overcharge mode, if you are there for literally a few seconds after it hit, you see those three bars before the reticle. When you see that third line at the bottom is full, if you do not shoot, you will take a apps. You will start taking a lot of damage. You can literally kill yourself by not firing. So you have to fire you cannot just hold it so that's why you see a lot of people that play the ray there's you see them charging and then shooting like off at a wall or something that's the reason why because if you don't shoot you're literally just going to kill yourself unfortunately very 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 unfortunate now this is definitely the best tank in the game for sniping if you're just wanting to do raw damage where you're able to one shot tanks the Ray is definitely for you. Now, the Jaeger can also do the same thing, but this thing can pretty much one-shot every tank in the game, except for a fully healed out Chopper and Titan. I think are the only two that can't be. Maybe, no, I think an Atom can as well, but this thing can pretty much one-shot every, one, every tank in the game, as long as it hits the ammo rack. But as you can see right now, I'm just waiting at the edge of the cap, kind of waiting for anyone to slide in there. I keep boosting my little charge ability, trying to get that charged up, trying to get as max as I can. And uh, oh, if I would have got him on the overcharge mode, I would have killed him. Oh man, that would have been amazing. It was so close. But yeah, um, as you can tell though, it being a sniper and with its charge ability, it is kind of vulnerable. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I may be vulnerable, but, uh, so are they if they don't get out of the way of the gun's gun. Ah, uh, that poor dude. No, no, I'm too young and pretty to die. The poor dude, so very unfortunate. Now, this batch is pretty much pretty much is already like it's very much in control like we're at 1200 points and they're at 500 so there isn't really too much they can do it is a disaster for them for sure but one tip i do have with this tank you definitely want to play pat more passive you don't want to be like super aggressive Normally, you're trying to stay further back, not rush in, usually wait for your team to be around, and you're always trying to get those critical hits. Just because of how long the charges are, you have to you have to get those charge hits. Like You have to hit those skills critical hits. And so normally, you need to be really good aim to be able to do that sort of thing, but as you can tell, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes in my aim where... Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm actually super mad about that particular shot because that whole turret on the kin is legit a giant ammo rack. And the fact that I did not do anything to him at all, I was like, oh, man, that was very unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Now, at this point, we do have... I believe we're gonna be able to get A. We don't. I don't really see any of them really coming back at this point. So I don't. I think we should be able to get this one just fine. So no worries on that end. Oh wait, no, they do start pushing in at the end. Oh, and I mm, I missed that shot barely because they know that I'm here. And they do not want to face, they do not want to face this thing charged as they know they will get absolutely wrecked. And again, I don't get a single critical hit on him again. That lucky son of a gun, but so he does not uh, get that same amount of luck as the other guy. So rip that guy. And 
And yet, uh, hold on. <laughs> oh. Yeah, rip him. And I barely miss him. Barely mint the can. Barely miss him. That was a skill issue on my part. Well, and the Kent wants to say hello. Hello there, Kent. How are you? Hello, and uh, you're dead. I'm the girl your mama warned you about. And again, like I said, you get critical hits on this thing, you're definitely going to be able to kill them. But they can also do the same thing to you. Very, very unfortunate for me, but also very unfortunate for them. So I'll take it. But yeah, this alpha test so far has been, I think it's been really good. It's, the game does feel very polished. Even though there are bugs, of course, that I'm seeing, they have also been doing quick patches and doing a lot of balances in the game, which I've been also liking as well. One thing though I would like them to do is kind of make it where if you're capping or contesting, it stops the point gain, but I think that's like the only real like thing I've seen. I also did not get a critical hit on him either, which was very upsetting. Very, very unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate, dude. There is like, there's just some shots I just couldn't get here. Oh, never mind. I got that. Never mind. I thought for sure I wasn't going to get that shot. Rip. So I do have two game play matches to watch. Now, this one is a win, of course, as you can see. But the next okay. match Maybe I'm not going is not going to go as swimmingly because on that match, it was kind of rougher for me to go in. Uh, due to the nature of the match. So as you can see, this match is the one where you have to do the domination with the one cap for your team has to get that. So I kind of take up a sniping position because trying to push in with this thing is legit a no-go. The whole thing is a giant critical hit magnet. And uh, yeah, you will instantly die if you're not careful. See, I almost got tricked there. I almost got tricked. Yep, and uh, as I was sniping, I did get rushed by a uh, Rakata, so nice. Now, I swear, this thing had the luck of a god. I shoot two shots up his engine, barely miss his, the critical hit on the damage. Like, mm, that man, dude. Mm, he had the luck of the gods on his side, I'm just saying. Also, I had skill issue because, you know, I kept missing, so rip. And somehow he comes back. At least we had people spotting in to get him. And, uh, yeah, he's not going to survive very long. Most of this match, I was kind of dealing with their snipers. They had three snipers on their team, and I didn't do a critical hit. Unfortunate. Is under attack. Critically hit. Ooh. And yeah, if you're wondering, I didn't do a smoke screen. That smoke screen you saw was the automatic one that happens when you take damage, and those are two Jaegers that got me, so they have thermal, so it's really easy to see. They're gonna regret this. But yeah, I pretty much just go back to the same spot. Just I try to go to a little bit different of a spot, but same area, so I'm able to at least try to push them away from sniping our dudes. But one of their dudes was really smart and sat behind a rock where he could still shoot at them, but I couldn't shoot him. 
he was pretty smart for that. The girl your mama warned you about. Yeah, that poor dude. I didn't do any damage to him because skill issue that's like the one thing like i'm when if you're a really good raid player you're gonna get critical hits every shot and he was over there trying to shoot me i see you ouch that was, uh, that was not fun. Oh, this is Saber. It's time to take back control. We've been caught off guard, but we're not out of but Yeah, I'm kind of just watching the replay and join with you guys, because I know a lot of you guys are just kind of wanting to watch the game. Ooh. This one should get me promoted. Damn, nice. You guys like watching the game play, so... Now, I saw the dude right there, and I was trying to hit him, but, like, I was, like, I was trying to figure out why I couldn't see him. I was, like, oh, it was literally just because of that damn wall's in the way. And, of course, I, uh, I didn't take the time for the reticle to get small and skill issue on my part. In the end, though, in this particular match, I should have moved over to the C to at least help with the team. But I was trying my best to make sure that I was providing support against all these dang snipers. Because there was three, at least three snipers. Like, there was two, there was at least two or three Jaegers that were sniping my team. That was very, uh, annoying. And again, I just do not get that critical hit on him. Because pretty much I just use my acceleration I have built into this thing to be able to reverse, go back forward, reverse, go back forward. I kind of feel sorry for those guys. I'm surprised he sat there long and like after me doing that much damage, I was surprised he kind of sat there and let me do that. That would be very surprising. But I will say though, for sure, the Ray's definitely, like if you love sniper gameplay, like this is legit just being massive numbers. I think the Ray and the Jaeger are definitely your two best options for that. As you can see there, I let the charge go a little bit too long and I took damage, unfortunately. I also love the fact that on the outside of most tanks, if you're using your ability, like the overcharge for this thing, it actually shows like the batteries like being charged. I think that's super cool. But I couldn't see them, unfortunately, because of that dang of fire. That was super unfortunate. Because if you see, a lot of the snipers went behind the rock. There's like a little rock at the little area, like right on the right side of where I was aiming at, where the one Jaeger was just sitting there sniping the whole time. He was doing a really good job making it, and he, he thought he would trick me. He thought I would shoot the one in front. He, he thought I was dumb. He thought I was dumb. But you have to. As soon as you hear that mm, sound, as soon as you hear that sound, you have to fire. You got to get that round off. If you don't, you're dead. Uh, I've never been so angry. But yeah, unfortunately, we did lose the match, though. It is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Very unfortunate. But hope you guys enjoyed the, the gameplay. Now we're going to hop over to the build.
So with the gameplay out of the way, let's talk about my build for Ray. So for the particular build for Ray, I have it where I mostly build into the crit multiplier and the charge reload for the guns. I don't really build into much else besides a little bit into the forward and reverse speed of the thing. But other than that, I focus mostly just focused on the multiplier and the little zoom optics. So let's hop right into it. So the first slot I go with 900 watts, which makes it worth a 10% quicker charging for the low mode. There are three modes in this, the, the low, the normal, and the overcharge. So this just makes it 10% quicker on the low mode. It makes the shells 200 uh, meters per second quicker. Pretty much makes it where the quicker the shells go, the more likely it's going to hit wherever you're aiming at directly. So it's always nice. In slot two, I go with 20% vertical size standing. Also makes you have 18% scope zoom factor. Uh, with the improved resolution increased maximum range uh, for the thermal scope very nice indeed pretty much makes it where you're gonna be able to see where you're aiming at so you're able to do more critical hits uh, on the enemies in slot three i go with 7.2 uh, reverse speed and negative two energy repair with the 25 percent sprint regen rate pretty much makes it where if you need to back out of the situation it makes it a little bit easier for you in slot four i go with the 1400 watt uh 10 percent gun recharging normal mode pretty much makes it where you know makes it charging quicker for the uh normal mode so pretty self-explanatory in slot five i have the the kamal core with the plus 100 uh shell speed this also makes it where increases critical damage by 15 percent in the normal mode uh most of the time with this particular build you'll be firing a lot in the norm in the normal and overcharge mode so i would definitely say if you're trying to do that kind of build then definitely get this one if you do want to focus more on the low fire mode you can take this one instead this does this pretty much will destroy a lot of enemies modules in one hit so if you hit their engine or their fuel or their ammo it'll do a lot a lot of damage just saying uh in slot which one was it uh sorry in slot six i went with the shelf in the plus 10% critical multiplier, plus 100 cell speed. So this makes the shells a lot quicker. Very nice. In slot seven, I go with the repair system, which makes it where 10 per 10 second quicker for the repair kit cooldown and increases the base repair kit effectiveness by 25%. Pretty much makes it where you get your repair quicker and you get a bigger hero. So win win there. In slot 8, I go with the power amplifier, which increases the damage by 25% at a distance up to 300 meters. So pretty much just a plain old buff to your shots. So I will take that. Very nice. In slot 9, I have the uh, 600 watt res resistors, which uh, gives you a plus 550 shell speed. And it eliminates dispersion overcharge mode. So wherever you're aiming at is where the shell is going to be going with this with this uh, buff there. Uh, for the final upgrade, I went with the magnetization coil, which makes you have a plus 25% critical multiplier. And it also makes it where if you deal two critical hits to receive 100% charge boost for the next shot, makes it a lot quicker for you to get those shots. Very nice. It does make it, though a longer charge time for the overcharge and a longer time for the normal but that critical multiplier is massive and it makes where you're able to one shot a lot of tanks if you hit them in the run spot i think the only one that doesn't is a fully built titan and a fully built chopper are like the only ones and maybe an atom maybe an atom as well but moving on to the consumables the consumables are spells like self-explanatory uh repair kit that's pretty simple uh, with the next one being the extinguisher and then the uh, stim pack, uh, which makes you have a 5% quicker reload for your, well, faster for quicker reload, which means 5% quicker charging for your gun. Now for perks, I have the increased real gun charge by 5%, self-explanatory, quicker reload. In slot two, I went the engine acceleration by 10%. Just makes it where you get the top speed quicker in reverse or going forward. And finally, I have the improved gun stabilization when shooting on the move by 15%. Pretty much means when you're on the move, you're just more accurate when you're moving around. 
but anyway that is my video on the ray if you guys have any questions or concerns let me know in the comments down below uh but yeah thank you guys for all being here and talk to y'all later